Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today I'm doing something that I have never ever done on my channel before, at least if I have, it's totally gone from my memory and I am updating my 2023 luxury wish list. There's some items that are off of the list, there's some things that I have gotten, and there are some new things that I would like to get. And before we get into that, I just wanna say this is all in good fun. This doesn't make me feel like I need to go out and you know start checking this list off or anything like that. It's just, it's fun. And I like making lists because I really start to think about things and it helps me be more mindful with where I'm putting my money. So let's start with the things that were on the list that have happened or that we have gotten or whatever. Oh, first I wanna show you. In case you can't see it, I'm wearing my Van Cleef and Arpels necklace with my ideal solitaire. I have on my Van Cleef and I have on my J12. So that all flows with stuff later, so that's why. <laughs> so the first thing that we got this year, we did get my husband's dream car. I am not allowed to ever show even the color online. <laughs> he has made that very specific. When we ordered it, it's just, it's too, um, <clears throat> what is the word that I am looking for? <laughs> It is, it's distinctive and he just does not want um, me being recognized if I am out and about. It's very distinctive, but so we got that. He's very happy about that. He got something else that he wanted, which we went to Disneyland. I said in that video, I was trying very hard to dissuade him and he's good now. He's good for a long time. <laughs> It'll be at least two years. We had a lovely time. Um, what else did we do? I wrote this stuff down. Um, uh, we went to Scottsdale this year. That was lovely. We were talking about going somewhere in Colorado. We ended up spending a week in Vail. I loved that. I got to wear a jacket in the summertime. It was just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We have Boston and Aruba booked. That was on the list, so that is going to happen. And as I said, Europe off the list this year because of the car. He has committed to Europe next year. We're thinking London and Paris. We're not 100% sure yet, but he's given me the month, and so I am gonna start working with him to plan that out. So now let's get into what's off the list and what is on the list. So I made the list without looking uh, at my old video at all. So there's a few things that are still on the list that I have wanted since January. And that kind of made me happy because I, I really, 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 really want a few of these. <laughs> the first one is the Tiffany hardware earrings and I will insert a video of them on me. I finally got to try them on in January when they were on the wish list. I had never tried them on before. After trying them on, I just, I love them. I want them but I don't love the price tag. They are $3,950, and that's a lot of money for just solid gold earrings with no stones in them. The other thing that I would like from Tiffany is the matching hardware bracelet. I have that in sterling silver, and I would love to get the 18 karat yellow gold one. That one comes in at $5,100. Both of those were on the list in January. I have a pen here. So off the list from January, um, jewelry wise, is the Tiffany Pearl um, pendant. I still think it's beautiful, but I have a lot of pearls and I just don't think that I need that anymore. And the Hermes, chain the anchor which I'm sure I'm saying it wrong I have that one in sterling silver and I don't think that I need that same one in um, the rose gold I was thinking it would be really pretty and it would be very pretty but those are both off of the list so the other jewelry that was on the list from January but I've changed the color that I want and it is the Hermes Ariane ring and I wanted it in the white gold is what I said in January and I will insert 
some pictures because that's just pitiful not focusing at all. What is going on there? Try it one more time. I'll just go over it with pictures, but it's a very dainty little ring and I love to stack it with my Cartier love um, ring and I think it would be pretty to have one on each side of the ring. And the Cartier is in yellow gold and the Ariane is in rose, so I don't know. I guess I was thinking having like the tricolor look like some of my Bulgari pieces. But no, I, I want it to match. I think the rose and the rose with the yellow in between would be very, very pretty. The next thing on my list, jewelry wise, so I'm trying to do what I did last time. I did jewelry, handbags, and travel. Um, so travel, we've already wrapped up and have booked everything we're gonna do this year. Oh, we also went to, um, to Tampa this year. Um, so jewelry, where am I at? <laughs> I didn't write any of this in order at all. Okay, a, another watch. I would love to get the Chanel J12 in the white. I tried this on recently at Chanel. I will insert video of it. Um, this one, of course, is the black 38 millimeter. And I would be open to diamond or non-diamond because I think the white one is just a lot more sporty but um, let me tell you the scary prices on these <laughs> so um, uh, the Ariane ring by the way $1,175 I think that's the only thing I haven't given a price on uh, the white one without the diamonds is $7,650 and with the diamond markers $9,200. I have been debating getting the white one as long as I have had this one. You have probably seen a white ceramic watch on my wrist in a few recent uh, videos that I've done. That one is from Michelle. I gifted it to Miss Minimalist. I gifted a um, Black Mother of Pearl Diamond Deco to the other one. Neither one of them touches the watches. <laughs> that one needed a battery, needed to be sized, so I took it back and if you watch that vlog, I handed it to her in Louis Vuitton. I'm like, here's your watch off the camera. And she's like, nah, <laughs> gave it back to me. So yeah, so I have been debating it, but then I'm like, do I really need it? Because if I want a pop of white for a watch, you know, I can always just put that Michelle one on. It's not the same though. It's just not the same. And let's see. Oh, so the one item that if I was gonna be serious about this, the one item that I am gunning for the most, I would put all of my firepower from Star Wars into getting, <laughs> would be a diamond tennis necklace. My husband has been getting me, trying to get me to try these on all year. He just thinks that they're so cool. And I'm like, no, absolutely not. It's just gonna pull my hair. It's gonna pull the little fine hairs that you have on your neck. It's just going to be painful. And he got me into Kiwat in um, Las Vegas. The video I did when I came back, I will put in some footage of the necklaces on me. I tried a couple of them on. <sighs> that That's number one. That is number one of everything on this list. I want a diamond tennis necklace. However, and the reason that I came out with both of these on, I don't want it from Kiwat from Tiffany, from Cartier, from any huge branded company because I feel like you get so much more bang for your buck from diamonds or pretty much any jewelry. You know, you're paying. You're paying because it's Van Cleef and Arpels. You just are. Or whatever the brand is. So I want it from our local um, our local jeweler. I have not gone in there and tried any on. The ones in Kiwat were insanely, insanely expensive. And I did not write it down. And I have since deleted the email because I'm like, I'm not about to spend that much because I mean, it was beautiful, but I think I can get something just as beautiful locally and not pay for a brand name. So the next things, 
I have a pair of boots and y'all just saw in the video of what I added when I was away I purchased some Hermes boots. I have another pair of Hermes boots on the wish list and they are called Fresh and they are $1,000. I did get to try these on when I was in Las Vegas. I did not buy them because it's so incredibly hot and I haven't worn the pair that I wore the last time that I bought the last time. So I'm going to hold off on that, but I want this caramel color. They just were super, super comfortable. They were true to size and um, I think that they're so cute. They're just, they're really casual like me. So I like that. And then where are we at? Um, okay, so there's two things left on here and one is a handbag and it's not gonna happen. <laughs> it is, this is pure fantasy, but oh, if money was absolutely no object, I would buy this bag. And that is the one that I showed you in a recent vlog. And that is the mini or the micro Lady Dior. I'm not sure if, what the wording is. It is not on the website that I can find. I will insert the footage that I have of it. It was a black patent leather with little tiny pearls all over it in the canage, you know, little pattern. Oh, it was so, so, so beautiful. I did not ask how much the bag was. I did ask before this video. It is $6,600. <laughs> It's not happening. It is absolutely not happening. And oh, I did forget a jewelry piece. Okay, so a little story time with this one. For I don't know how many years, more than 10, way more than 10, I have wanted the 20 motif matching necklace to this, the Van Cleef and Arpels, the Alhambra in the Onyx. And if you had told me 10, 15 years ago that today, if I hadn't done other things that you could buy that necklace. I would say, no, there's no way. I would own that necklace. If you told me, no, you're not gonna have it, I would not believe you. And I have gone back and forth on this one for such a long time. I came very close to buying it um, the year that I did the really big birthday <laughs> shopping <laughs> that year. Very, very close to buying it. What keeps holding me back from it, like it would be perfect with what I'm wearing today. I'm just wearing a simple black dress. But as you know, I wear a lot of patterns and I don't think it would look good with patterns. And then I keep telling myself, well, I have this one and I can layer this one with other pieces. So I will also put this with, I have a mother of pearl Cartier um, necklace that I really like. I have one that's celestial from Dior that I think stacks very beautiful with it. And I just go back and forth and back and forth. So that's probably similar to the Dior lady bag that it's probably never ever going to happen. I just, Onyx is a cheap stone. It just is. I, uh, Van Cleef is so expensive. It's so beautiful. But Let's be real, this is not sapphires and diamonds, this is onyx. And the price of that necklace comes in at $16,800. So yeah, I would be putting that money towards a diamond tennis necklace a thousand times before I would buy this necklace, but I think it's absolutely beautiful and I'm tempted and every now and then I'm like, I'm going to buy that necklace. And my husband's like, that is the dumbest thing I have ever heard. <laughs> he doesn't do that too often, but he does not. He does not. He has the same, I guess, feelings that I do. The last things I have wanted forever from Hermes is a tea set. And last year they had the teapot in, but I wasn't sure which one I wanted. So I have debated the deco set, which I will insert a picture. They actually had that available on the website today in the red. I don't like the red, I like the black. But what I really like is the mosaic, and so I don't know how much that one is. The tea set in the red, uh, two cups, two saucers, and a teapot are $8.50. I have no idea the teapot cost of the mosaic, but they had it in last March, and it was in online. And my sales associate could have ordered it for me. I had to be in the physical store. And um, I didn't get it, and it has never come back. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to end up with that one or not. Um, they do have the cups available. Did I write down the prices of the cups? 
I don't see it on here, but um, I will put that down below with a picture of the teacup. There's a set from, it's not a set, Tiffany has a beautiful teapot and that comes in at $350 and then one teacup with the saucer comes in at $150. So $350 plus $150. But I would like to start to branch out a little bit and get some things, more things for the home. Um, some of you may know I have the Avalon blanket, blanket and the pillow. I love those pieces. And you know, you saw me buy a hat, you're seeing me buy shoes. I'm kind of, there was one handbag on this list and it's not happening. Now on the January list, I would still like another Birkin or a Kelly at some point. I'm in absolutely no hurry whatsoever. If it happens, it happens. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. I hope you have an amazing day today. Take care, bye-bye.